Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the California Angels and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Angels today is Chris Knapp, whose record is 1-3 with a 4-7-2 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Dan Petrie, whose record is 3-2 with a 3-33 ERA. Okay, well, first off, before we talk about uh, yesterday's game, I just want to apologize for the audio quality yesterday. I am not sure why it was intermittently uh, shorting out. Every few seconds, it would just um, disappear and then come right back. So I, I don't know what it is. I did check all the cables. I'd make sure I have nothing running in the background um, on the computer. So hopefully today will be better. If not, then I guess we'll have a problem. We'll have to... Uh, maybe take the computer in for service, but otherwise I feel pretty good about it. So uh, we move on and uh, yesterday's game Very frustrating. We had a four to two lead and then uh, Late in his appearance Jack Morris gave up back-to-back uh, -back home runs. He had given up four home runs total uh, in the ball game and uh, It was pretty much over at that point. So a very disappointing performance from Jack. Uh, Sweet Lou, he had a triple and a home run in the game. His 20th home run of the season. He's the first Tigers hitter to hit 20. And um, we move on to today's game. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Dan Petrie has only faced the current Angels line up 41 times and they're batting 324 against them so that's not great Dave Smith will not be available today I'm not sure why he only pitched one inning yesterday uh, but he's tired so he will not be available we have uh, three other righties that we can go to so not a big deal there we do have some changes to the lineup today we uh, are going to give George Brett the day off. He was listed as tired. So what we're going to do is move Mickey to third, back to his natural position. We're going to put Glenn Wilson at DH, get him out of the outfield, although he's a great uh, defender. Uh, we're going to give him the day uh, just in the DH role. And then Jesse Barfield will be our right fielder who's got the superior arm. And who knows, you might need it. Uh, Sweet Lou still listed as tired, but we're... We've already stated that we're going to give him the day off um, in the fourth game of the series when it's the left-hander on the mound. Okay, let's go ahead and do the California Angels lineup rundown. Appears to be, oh, there's one different player in there. Okay, batting leadoff in center field is Gary Pettis. Batting second at third base is Dickie Thon. Batting third in right field is Mike Brown. Batting cleanup and DHing is Daryl Sconiers. Batting fifth and catching is Brian Harper. Batting sixth at first base is John Harris. Batting seventh at second base is Steve Lubertich. Batting eighth in left field is Don Baylor. And batting ninth, playing shortstop, is Todd Cruz. So they do have a couple uh, different uh, batters in this game. Dan Petrie will face those batters. We'll take a look at Petrie making his ninth start. 3-2, 333 ERA, 28 Ks, and 51 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 176 against him. He does have a complete game. If we take a look at his log, you'll see he had the complete game, which was amazing, against the Yankees of all teams. And then he went 7 and a third, pitched fairly well, giving up four hits and three walks. So, you know, a whip of one, but it looks like an error sunk his battleship. And then uh, he started against Oakland and uh, could not get through five, um, walk three. So not, not what you want from uh, Peaches. We're going to take a look here. Uh, overall rating is a 90. The 24-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. So we'll pay him. We might have to pay and trade him depending on what he's going to ask for for arbitration. Okay. Take a look at the Tigers' defense. 
we got Jesse Barfield out there in right field. And uh, we have Mickey Hatcher uh, back there at third. Not a great defensive third baseman, but he can get the job done. All right, Gary Pettis leading off against Dan Petrie. Here we go. Pettis lifts it to left center field. Gibby makes the catch. There's one down. Here's Dickie Fawn. He was in right field yesterday. Today, he's uh, out there at third. So he's moving. Um, it looks like we're having some more technical difficulties here. All right. And hopefully, we got it under control. I have no idea what is causing that. Maybe we do have a computer issue. I guess we'll have to wait and see how the uh, edit comes out. So one down, here's Dickie Fawn. A ground ball to first. Again, more delay. What is going on? Two outs. And Mike Brown walks. So I thought maybe Petrie could get through the first inning without uh, a walk, but Mike Brown will take a walk. He's on first. Next up is Daryl Sconyers. He went deep in yesterday's ball game. And he flies out to right, so no damage done. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Sweet Lou leading off. Playing second base. Batting second. Playing shortstop is Alan Tremel. Batting third at first base is Greg Brock. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting sixth and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting seventh and DHing today is Glenn Wilson. Batting eighth in right field is Jesse Barfield. And batting ninth in center field is Eddie Miller. Pitching for the Angels is Chris Knapp. Uh, he is in the number five spot due to injury. He has uh, six starts on the year, one and three, with a 472 ERA, 33K in 34, and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 208 against him. He's got a complete game shutout. Nice. Uh, his fastball tops out at 92 miles an hour. Uh, ground ball percentage is 41.7. Really got two decent pitches, a fastball and a sidearm curve. Overall, though, he is rated below average at a 79. The 29-year-old righty goes to free agency at the end of the year, and you'll see his 81 uh, tops card here. So he was actually out of baseball by 1982. And so he is running on fumes. Thanks there to Dave. I see I got a little comment on the Facebook page. Okay, here is Sweet Lou leading off against Chris Knapp. Oh, take a look at the defense. Um, Mike Brown out there in right field. That's a definite improvement over yesterday. But we still got Don Baylor out there in left with a 73 rating. Okay, here's Sweet Lou leading off. And a base hit to center field. Drops in in front of the center fielder Pettis. Do we want to go for two? We do not. We will hit and run with Tram. Keep us out of an early double play. Maybe get things going. We scored two runs in yesterday's first inning. And two in the second, and then we were shut down uh, after that. So it was, it was a tough ball game. All right, uh, Greg Brock walks. So first and second, another double play possibility. We're going to let Gibby swing away, though. Gibby in the uh, cleanup role today. Oh, he walks as well. So the bases are loaded for our uh, RBI guy, Mickey Hatcher. Not hitting righties too well, only batting 263. The ground ball to first. Oh, a run does score. They can't turn the double play. Hatcher hustling down the line. Beats it out, and it's 1-0 Detroit with Terry Kennedy coming up. Kennedy still hitting pretty well, batting 282 with nine home runs. He hasn't had a home run in quite a while. There's the third walk. Of the first inning. Bases are now loaded for Glenn Wilson. Wilson batting 269 with 16 home runs. And he gaps it deep into center field. All the way against the wall. Everybody scores. A three RBI double 
for Glenn Wilson. That is number six. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know where numbers are located. Uh, 67 ribbies for Glenn Wilson. I believe that is the team lead. Perfect timing. So there's our four runs already as Jesse Barfield steps in. Barfield's got one hit on the year for the Tigers, and it was a home run as he grounds out to short, and that will do it. So a good mogul inning in favor of the Tigers with three walks and then a bases-clearing double. Brian Harper leading off the top of the second against Petrie. Harper hits a ground ball to Whitaker. There's one down. Next up is John Harris. Harris batting 295, 22 home run. He has uh, hit a home run in yesterday's ball game. One of the four. There's a guy who hasn't hit a home run in a long time. Steve Lubertich. And he's going to get an infield single as Hatcher. That would have been a tough play. So runner on first. That's the first hit against Petrie. Here's Don Baylor. Baylor had a home run yesterday. And he strikes out looking. Okay, so Petrie off to a good start today. We go to the bottom of the second with Eddie Miller leading off. Miller, Whitaker, and Trammell. Miller had two stolen bases yesterday as he grounds out to first. One out. Back to the top of the lineup with Lou. Lou walks. Four walks for Nap. What it, so, yeah, his command and control are both not great. Okay, we have a four-run lead now, so we're going to let Trammell swing away. We know four runs are not enough. As uh, yesterday's ball game, we had that four-run lead and just couldn't get it done. Brock with two outs, flies out to right field, and that'll do it. We're going to the top of the third inning. We've got Todd Cruz leading off against Dan Petrie. Cruz batting, wow. I was just going to say Cruz batting 033, and he just goes deep. He's only got two hits on the year, a double and a home run now. That, wait, what's his power? Oh, he's got an 85 power. It doesn't feel like the Todd Cruz I remember. But, Angels are on the board. They had four home runs yesterday, and they've got one already today. As Pettis grounds out to first. Keeping Pettis off base is the key. And then Dickey hits it back to Petrie. Dickey Thon had four RBI in yesterday's game. And here's Mike Brown, who strikes out swinging. So, the leadoff home run by Todd Cruz makes it 4-1 to one Detroit. We go to the bottom of the third with Gibby leading off. It's Gibby, Hatcher, and Kennedy. Gibson popping it up high on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass. Play is made by Lubertich. One out. Here's Mickey Hatcher. Jammed inside. Ground ball to first. Two down. I'm going to leave it up to Terry Kennedy to get something going. He walked the first time up. Uh, he should have taken that pitch as well. He strikes out on a pitch well outside the zone. A 1-2-3 inning for Knapp. Looks like he's getting it together after the first inning. Of course, that's what the game does. You blow up one inning and then you're Cy Young the rest of the game. Scaniers leading off the fourth. Ground ball to third, uh, short and Trammell scoops it, tosses him out. Brian Harper strikes out looking. Three Ks for Petrie. He's due for a walk here, right? Can't get more than <laughs> one more strikeout than walks. Oh, look at that! Back-to-back -back Ks to end the inning. We go to the Bottom of the fourth with Glenn Wilson leading off. Wilson, the big hit today. Three RBI double. Striking out. 
three Ks for Knapp. Jesse Barfield up next. There's the walk. He's at 66 pitches here in the fourth. Eddie Miller, we're just pushing buttons here. Base hit, infield single, that makes sense. Miller's got good speed, so I could see him beating out a infield single. Okay, so Sweet Lou's up. Gosh, Lou is just so struggling so much. Be nice to have him have a big hit. He did have the big home run yesterday, triple N home run. Hey, there we go, dump it in right field, and it falls in front of Mike Brown. A run scores. Five to one. We get that run back. Still only one out. Um, should we send Whitaker here to stay on the double play? That is the question. Uh, we're going to go on contact. I've never used this before. I have no idea if it's anything at all. Oh, I guess base hit. It doesn't matter. It falls in front of Don Baylor, and it's six to one, Detroit. RBI single. <coughs> Excuse me, from Trammell. I apologize. We had a huge dust storm last night. When I woke up, I couldn't even see the mountains here. It was so bad, and uh, my allergies are acting up. So sometimes it's hard for me to catch my breath. I apologize. Um, that wasn't a glitch. <laughs> that was. My body glitching. First and third, one out. Greg Brock. Let's see if Brock can come through with a big hit. Nope. Sharply hit ground ball to short. That should be two. It is. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Dan Petrie. 51 pitches. We have seven, eight, and nine due up, starting with Lubertich. Lubertich pops it up to Trammel. Backpedaling to the grass, making the play. One out. Up next, Don Baylor. He's 0 for 3 in his career against Peaches. A pop up halfway up the third baseline. And Hatcher making the catch. And here's Todd Cruz. He went deep against Petrie. Really the only blemish for Petrie today. He put and Petrie put it in the exact same spot. This time Cruz just missed it, flying out to right. So we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. You have uh, Gibson, Hatcher, and Kennedy do up. Chris Snap still plugging along. That was a walk. That looked like a strike, like it went right through the zone. That was a nice curveball. But we'll take it. First base. Uh, Give me on first with uh, Mickey Hatcher up. Hatcher maybe dumping it into left center field. Get down. Yeah, there it is. A little duck snort into left center field. We're sending Gibby to third. He is safe, and that will do it for Chris Knapp. Fred Martinez coming in. There's only one Freddy. I can't say I can't call him Freddy. Uh, this is game number six. No record. 589 ERA. Uh, 14K and 18 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 304. You see he's got a 89 mile an hour fastball. That's pretty normal for this era. Uh, ground ball percentage is 45%. He's got three pitches. You wouldn't know it. They all suck. Overall rated a 79. The 26 year old rookie uh, is under contract until 1986. He's not happy. He doesn't like being the sixth starter on the Angels. He could probably earn a spot in the Kansas City rotation. That's probably true. Here's Terry Kennedy. First and third. Nobody out. Tigers looking to add to their lead. A ground ball to second. Gibby will score on that, but no RBI as uh, the defense turns two. We'll take that run, though as uh, the bases are now clear for Glenn Wilson, who grounds out to first. Okay, we go to the top of the sixth inning. Tigers are up 7-1. to one. This is feels like we have enough cushion. I need to take a little sip here. Pardon me for one moment. Thank you. 
Okay, it is Gary Pettis up. Pettis, Thon, and Brown. Pettis hits it right back to Petrie. An easy out. We've kept Pettis off the base path today. I almost called Dickie Thon, Dickie Thong. I, I, <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. As Dickie flies out to right center field. When I think of Dickie, I always think of um, the talented Mr. Ripley. I think it wasn't Dickie. Um, uh, uh, Jude Law's character's name? I can't remember now. Irrelevant. As Petrie walks Brown. Only the second walk for Petrie. Keep an eye on him at this point. He might be starting to lose it. He, did. he is losing it. So this will be his last batter. Brian Harper. Um, Harper's got a lot of power. So we're just going to play him straight away. Have Petrie go after him. A ground ball that gets past Trammell. Brown scores on the error by the left fielder Gibson. So that's unearned, which, you know, whatever. Well, that'll do it for Petrie. That's not his fault, but uh, he doesn't have the stuff right now. This is kind of what it's like with Petrie. We have to babysit him. What we will do is we will bring in Cappy to get one out. We're going to turn him into a loogie, a left-handed one-out guy. Take a look at his splits. Well, I mean, lefties hit him pretty well. He's given up five home runs to left-handers. This annoys me as, just as much as anything else in this game that somehow the reverse split is a thing with all left-handed pitchers. At least this season. But we do what we got to do. First and second. Two down. Here's John Harris, 280 hitter versus lefties. Ground ball to Trammell. That should be good. There we go. 7-2. As the Angels scored a run due to that error by Gibson. He's been really good in left field. He's actually got all positive numbers. Uh, all of his metrics are positive. But he blew it there. Here's uh, Jesse Barfield leading off against Fred Martinez. Oh, that's what we brought him up for. Barfield gets that run back. His second home run in a Tiger uniform, number six overall. I'm liking it. Eddie Miller swings at ball four. Was out number one. Back to the top of the lineup with Lou, who rips it into right field for a base hit. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Whitaker. Man, could I be any more off about him? He went two for four yesterday with a triple and a home run. He's three for three today. So it looks like he's picking it up. Wilson had those three RBI. Barfield just went deep. All right, well, runner on first. Trammel up. We don't need to hit and run here. Just let him take a cut. Will that fall in? Nope. Perfectly placed for Baylor to make the catch. Two outs. Here's the Brock Ness Monster struggling today. He does have a walk. He always walks once. He takes a cut. And it's a fly out to right field. So we're headed to the seventh inning. Weaver did, uh, not Weaver, uh, Cappy did his gerb. Uh, and how much of a lead? Yeah, we have a six-run lead. So we're going to bring in Tom Filer. I would let Tom Filer close this game out if he could. Um, but we'll see. Tom Filer just did a stand-up job in um, re uh, long relief. 6-4, and four, 420 ERA. That walk-to-strikeout ratio is what kills him. Posts are betting 262 against him. 90-mile-an-hour fastball. And you've seen enough of him. You know the, de the deal. 26-year-old righty. Goes to arbitration next year. All right. Steve Lupertich leading off. 
Oh, Lubertic gets off the schneid against Tom Filer. Come on. I mean, he was due, no doubt about it, but this is not... Uh, come on, I don't want to go back to the bullpen. There's a ground ball up the middle. Whitaker tosses him out. California, they do put up runs. I mean, they have a better record. Than, I mean, a lot of teams have a better record than us now. But they do have a better record. Cruz strikes out looking. Top of the lineup with Gary Pettis. Kipped him off base all day today. Maybe that's why we have the lead as Pettis pops out to second. So the long ball from Steve Lubertich, that's got to make him feel good. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Martinez coming out for his third inning of work. It's Gibby Hatcher and Kennedy coming up. Wow. Saw a lot of pitches, 10 pitches, as Gibby strikes out looking. I don't know what he was looking for. And Sticky Mickey with the base hit to right field. He's two for four today. Runner on first, one down for Terry Kennedy. Kennedy walks for the second time. First and second, one down. Let's do it Big Willie style. Clear the bases again here. Oh, he's just going to go sit down. First and second, two outs. Here's Jesse Barfield. He crushed it last time up. And a slow roller to second. Oh, an error by the second baseman. Lubertich, he giveth and taketh away. All right, so that's going to leave it up to uh, Eddie Miller here to add to the Tigers' lead. Miller, one for three today. He hit the infield single. And he hits a fly ball to the left as Baylor ends the inning. So we're going to the top of the eighth. Tommy Filer headed back out there to face Dickie. 0 for 3 today. Striking him out. Look at Filer. He's trying to get his uh, strikeout to walk ratio, at least at 1 to 1. Mike Brown, a ground out to first. Brock making that play. Here come a couple lefties. Things could get interesting here. Skyner's a 268 hitter. He just missed that one. A little bit uh, behind, I guess, as he flies out to right. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's Lou, Trammell, and Brock. Lou, three for three today with a ground ball to second. There's his first out. One down for Trammell and a ground ball to first. That'll leave it up to Greg Brock to get a two-out rally going and a base hit up the middle. There's a... Base hit for Brock. Ten Tiger hits today. Gibby hitless, although he has walked twice. A lot of walks between the two teams. As Gibson grounds out to first. Okay, we're going to the top of the ninth inning. Filer only at 26 pitches. I mean, he has really high endurance, obviously, as a um, former starter. We, we did not go in and change his... Um, you can change their settings in the edit uh, to like a long reliever or, you know, we just left him as a starter. He may get some starts for us next year. So it's Harper, Harris, and Lubertich here in the ninth as Harper pops up. It's a fantastic job by Filer today. Just gave up the long ball to Lubertich, who's on deck. Striking out Harris, three Ks, and that will bring up Steve Lubertich with two down in the ninth inning. A ground ball to third. Come on, Hatcher. And Hatcher tosses him out. Tigers win, eight to three. Handshakes, but slap, slap the stakes. It feels good to get a win in the books. Eight to three in favor of the Tigers. Let's take a look at the standings. Uh, we did gain a game back for what it's worth. Um, so we're seven back. Baltimore lost, so they did not gain a game. California, Oakland, and Seattle all within a game of each other. 
Let's take a look at the National League. I, I especially want to keep track of Cincinnati. We looked at them yesterday. Um, they, their 10-game winning streak came to an end. They're two games back. But that pitching staff is elite level. Uh, they just got Mario Soto back. He was injured after his second start of the season. And uh, they just got him back in the rotation. So that is going to be impressive. Wow, nothing? Bruce Berenyi had the no-hitter yesterday, too. So nothing at all. Let's take a look at transactions. Uh, we've got some stiff. The Phillies are going to lose Julio Franco for five weeks. Uh, he would be back for playoff time if the uh, Phillies were to get there, but they're not going to get there. As uh, this is the most at-bats Julio Franco's had in a season. Then we have Luis Salazar, who was the backup third baseman for the Padres. Who's the starting third baseman? It's Salars. Guy Salars. And Joe Simpson. Wait a minute. Did they just have an injury? Wait, was this? Yeah, we just saw that this was a... That's weird. So they added two injuries to the 20th. Because it did show Simpson injured yesterday. That's so weird. Uh, all right, nonetheless, let's wrap up this uh, ball game. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button for me. I appreciate that. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, man. You'll get uh, all the information whenever we have a new video. I, I do plan on having more sports card videos coming very soon. As uh, we take a look here at uh, the Tigers, who is the player of the game? I mean, Glenn Wilson has the three ribby, which is nice. Uh, but Whitaker had three hits and, an R and a walk, too. So he got on base four times. I think we have to give it to Whitaker over Glenn Wilson, um, although you could go either way. Wilson had his uh, 15th double which was a big hit, of course. And Jesse Barfield went deep. Uh, Dead Patriot gets the win, 4-2 and two on the season. Tom Father pitches three fantastic innings in relief to get his first save on the season. And, uh, okay, that's going to do it. So we're going to come back tomorrow with Game 3 of the four-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.